how do we really love ourselves first in order to then love others? I'm Brenda Florida, life coach and lifestyle advisor, and we're here today talking about the Live Lavishly Manifesto. This is number four, that I, this idea that I must truly love myself before I can love another. And where does that really come from and is that really true? So I want you to think about it. You don't have to believe it just because I think it's true. You know, see if this feels like a truth for you in your life. But I know I can't really give when I am feeling empty, right? So it's this idea of giving from a full cup or of course in the travel world it's about uh, being on an airplane and if the oxygen mask drops you know you put it on yourself first before you help somebody else because if I'm not coming from a place of self-love and self-care I'm not really going to be able to give you the love that you deserve or the care that you deserve that is really clean and free from my own um, needing to do it for my own acknowledgement or my own ego reasons, right? We've all gotten caught in that where we help somebody because it makes us look good or we give money to something because it makes us look good. Um, you know, that's just human nature. It happens from time to time. But then I also know you've experienced this place where you've really given, whether it's out of your resources or your love or time or money, because you felt so full hearted that you just wanted to give out of that fullness. So that's what manifesto number four is really talking about. Taking the time to love yourself first so that you can give to others, however that is in time, money, energy, you know, whatever the resource is, you can give from that full cup sort of place. So I want you to think about three things that you could do today that would be very self-loving, you know, or self-caring so that you will then be able to go throughout your day giving to others from that same place. So I like to start the day this way, right? Because if I don't feel feel like I've filled up myself first in the morning, it's very hard for me to go throughout the day and really give from the excess of that rather than having to sort of deplete myself in order to give. So I'd love for you to think right now of three things that you can do uh, that will help you give love to yourself, that will be ways that you can love yourself. Uh, they might be taking a few minutes for meditation. I love to meditate in the morning because it helps me get my own thoughts clean and clear and grounded and helps me really choose how I want to be in the world today. Um, so I like to take time for meditation. Uh, frankly, I like to take time for my perfect good cup of coffee in the morning. That feels very self-loving to me. Um, so it doesn't have to be some monumental change the world kind of thing. It, it can often be these small things, giving yourself time before you go off to work or whatever your activities are for the day. Um, when my children were home, I have four children that are now all grown, but um, I had them all in seven years. So I spent a lot of time in my life as a young mother with a lot of children with a lot of needs, right? And so sometimes it would just be getting up an extra 15 minutes early, even if I was really tired, just to have time by myself before the kids woke up and started needing things from me. Um, even now as an adult and not having any children at home, I like to have that time before I go off to work and start giving of myself in the workplace. So whatever it is, big or small, think of those three things that you can do today so that you can love yourself first in order to then love others. So thanks for joining me for this Live Lavishly Manifesto. If you don't have your manifesto, go to my website, brendaflorida.com, and pick it up there. And please, you know, post your comments for what self-love looks like for you, maybe the three things that you're going to do each day to give yourself some self-love, or also if it's a problem for you, if you really struggle with the idea of it being selfish, maybe, or self-centered, to give to yourself first 
in order to give to others. So um, let's have a conversation about it down in the comments and let's live lavishly.